Hi, I am Rishika Gupta, currently working as a software developer at LinkedIn. Web development is an evergreen field and in this video, I am going to share the complete roadmap of how to become a full stack web developer. Do you want to become a full stack web developer and create your own websites from scratch? If the answer is yes, then you are watching the right video. In this video, I am going to share about the complete roadmap of how to become a full stack web developer. After the end of this video, you will be having a clear and complete picture of where to start learning web development, what are the frameworks to use and much more. So stay tuned with the video and let's get started. So first thing first, what is web development? Web development refers to the technology which we use to build and develop web solution that runs on online browsers like Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. We use so many websites in our regular life without realizing the underlying technology. For example, we use e-commerce websites like Amazon, we use fashion websites like Mintra, food delivering websites like Swiggy Zomato, social media websites like Twitter, LinkedIn. And if you are watching this video on a web browser, then you are also using YouTube websites. So let's understand what is web development and how to get started with it. So web development includes building, hosting and maintaining your websites on the server. Now let's just divide web development into parts so that we can understand it better. We can divide web development into three parts, front-end development, back-end development and databases. So the first part is front-end development. Front-end development involves user interface and user experience of the website. In simple terms, it decides the look and feel of the website. So you must have encountered some websites which are very appealing to the eyes. The color, contrast and the look of the website is very attractive. And there are other type of website which may not look so good but the flow of the website is so seamless that you cannot resist yourself from using those websites. So combining the user interface and the user experience including both of them together makes front-end development. And now the next question is how to learn it. So the first step would be learn about HTML. HTML is hypertext markup language which is used to define the overall structure of your web pages. So you must have seen that websites have something common. For example, the navbar is always on the top and at the bottom you will be having a footer uh, division as well. So this structure is defined using HTML. So HTML is a very simple language. You can even learn it within one week itself and you can play around the different elements and tags present in HTML. For example, forms, paragraphs, headings, tables, images, URLs, etc. And you can uh, make static web pages using those tags and elements in HTML. And once you are comfortable with that, we can move ahead with the next step. The second step would be learn about CSS. So CSS is cascading style sheets and as the name suggests, it helps in the styling of your web pages. You can do text decoration, you can decide the alignment of different element that you have mentioned in HTML files and you can also play around different colors, contrast and decide how your website should look like. Once you have a basic understanding of CSS, you can start learning different frameworks which are related to CSS. For example, Tailwind, Bootstrap and there are many other uh, frameworks like that which you can reuse and make your development process faster. The third step would be learn about JavaScript. So JavaScript is a very important language if you want to become a web developer. Why it is so? Because JavaScript is one of those language which can be used in both client and server side development. In client side, if you want to make dynamic websites, then you should definitely use JavaScript. Using HTML and CSS, you can make static websites where the data is already written in the code itself. But if you want to render data in real time and if you want to make your website dynamic, then you have to use JavaScript. For example, if you are watching this video and if you hit the like button, then the counter of the like button will increase, right? That will happen using JavaScript because the data is changing in real time and it is dynamic in nature. So that all that thing can be done using JavaScript. And not just that, you can use JavaScript to create multi-page websites as well. So once you have a basic understanding of JavaScript and the core concepts of it, you can move ahead with the learning of frameworks which are built on the top of JavaScript. For example, React, 
Angular, Vue.js, and many more. React, Angular, and Vue are few of the topmost frameworks used in front-end development related to JavaScript. Apart from that, you can also learn about some libraries, for example, jQuery, which will help you to write a clean and good code in JavaScript. So these were the three pillars of front-end web development and if this sounds interesting to you then you can specifically become a front-end web developer as well but you have to definitely make sure that you have practiced a lot built a lot of projects and in terms of projects you can work upon clone websites you can build even some games just using front-end development so make sure that you are being creative and productive here and you are building as much projects as possible also make sure that you are focusing on building good user interface and good user experience using front-end development as these are the core concepts of front-end development. Now the next pointer in learning web development is learn about back-end development. So back-end development involves around the communication between your client and databases. Let's understand this via an example. Let's say when you click on the bell icon of our channel, the client is sending a request to the server. The server is doing some processing and updating the database. And once the database is updated, the server is sending the response status to the client again. So whenever a new video is getting uploaded, you will get a notification because the server is sending that notification to the client. So this is known as client server architecture in backend development. So once you have a fair understanding of core concepts of backend development like server side interaction and client server architecture, you can start learning the programming languages as well. So make sure that you have one major programming in backend development. You can go with Java, you can go with Python, Node.js and many more. And then once you are comfortable with the languages, you can learn the frameworks which are built on the top of those languages. For example, in case of Python, we have Django. In case of Java, we have Spring. And in case of JavaScript, we have Node.js. And once you have a fair understanding of programming languages that you want to use for your backend development, and you have also learned about frameworks and libraries to enhance your development process, you can move ahead with the other concepts, for example, web security, learning about networking protocols, how protocols are being used in the request and response between the client and server. And using that, you can learn about how you can secure your website from web attacks as well. So till now we have covered about front-end development and back-end development. Combining both of these together, you can create good websites which are responsive and dynamic in nature. It can be a single page or a multi-page websites as well. So by responsive website, what we mean is your responsive website will look good on either a web browser, on laptops, on mobile phones, on tablets, irrespective of the dimension of the screen. And by dynamic website, it means that you can render data in real time by connecting your front end with the back end. But even now, one thing is missing here. You haven't connected your back end server with the databases. So you cannot do operations like create, update, delete and something like that, right? For that, you have to understand about databases. The third and the last very important point in learning web development as a whole is learn about databases. So database is a place where you store your data in a particular format. There are two types of databases which you should know about if you are learning full stack web development. The first type is relational databases or they are commonly known as SQL databases. So here the data is stored in a table like format. There will be rows and columns and the example for relational databases are MySQL and Oracle. The other type of databases are non-relational databases or no SQL database. Here the data is stored in an object-like or JSON-like format. Few of the example of non-relational databases are MongoDB, WallDB and Cassandra. So after learning about the various frameworks and libraries present in front-end and back-end development and also after learning about the databases, you can choose your technology stacks using which you can build project in web development. So here I am sharing two topmost web development technology stacks which are very famous these days, the MERN and MEME tech stack. Here MERN represents MongoDB, Express.js, React and Node.js and MEME represents MongoDB, Express.js, Angular and Node.js. You can choose any of the two and start building projects in web development. 
So after learning about web development, let's see what all you can do using that skill. So you can do freelancing in web development projects. You can participate in hackathons and competitions. You can contribute in open source. You can also be a full time web developer where the salary goes from 5 to 6 lakhs per annum to up to 50 to 60 lakhs per annum. And also you can build your own websites as well. Also to become a good web developer, it's not just about your coding abilities and how much expertise you have in that. It's also very important that you have these three soft skills in you to become a good web developer. So the first and very important soft skill which you should have is communication skills. So here communication skills include both verbal and text based communication. We all know the importance and benefits of verbal communication, but being a coder, it's very important that you own text based communication skills as well. For example, if you are writing a code, make sure that the code is properly documented. You create more wikis so that if anyone is looking at your code, they can understand what is written in the algorithm. The next very important skill that you should own is passion for learning. So web development is a field where new libraries and frameworks keep on adding very regularly. So make sure that you are updating yourself with the new skill set and you are learning about those frameworks on regular basis. The third skill is be receptive to feedback. Now building a website is not a one time process. You have to make sure that you are incorporating user feedback and you are updating your website regularly. So be patient with the feedback you are receiving and keep on learning. Lastly, let's talk about the projects you can build to practice web development. So if you are practicing front end development, you can build projects like clone website. You can build projects around building a clone website of Instagram, LinkedIn or any other social media platform that you use generally. Also, you can build projects, for example, games like tic-tac-toe or you can build quizzes as well. To practice backend development, you can start with basic projects like building website with crude operations. Crude operations are create, read, update and delete operations. And if you want to go advanced in web development, then you can add different technologies like machine learning, cloud technologies and IoT and add them in your web development projects and build amazing projects. So that's it for today's video. If you find this video useful, do subscribe us and give this video a like. Also do check out our free master classes by industry leading experts. Link is there in the description box. And always remember that great developers are always progressive learners. So keep on learning and see you in the next video.